Hello there everyone, welcome back to Crash Access. In the last episode I realised I have to get golds at least. So, we need to get gold times. How do we get gold times you may ask? By going faster, obviously. There are only two levels I need to do it though. One in World 1 and then one in World 5. So I did okay. I may need that one, but 57 is the time limit. Let's see if we can do it faster than that. Dead. How's that? There we go. Oh wait, what? Is that not what I did last time? Maybe I got 56 dead the last time. I need 55-7. Okay. Why are you killing me? Hmm. Maybe I did the same thing twice in a row just now. Which would be pretty impressive if it wasn't so annoying. time crates and there aren't any. I'm so strapped for time because there's no time crates. Got no time for waiting around. This wastes all my time here because I have to either make it by like 18 seconds or get there by 24. 53-1. How's that? Not as good for 49 for Platinum. That's really hard. Okay, that's fine. Strip, drip, drip. That's the only other one. So I should have a 99% file now, right? No? Okay. I didn't really look at what time it was I needed to get, but I know what I need to do to go faster. I need to wait until I get the Aku Aku, then when I need to wait for that robot to do the thing with the, the uh, where I bounce and then wait for it to go past me, I just go straight through it and tank the hit. Why am I having so much trouble with this bit now? I don't know. It's a mystery to everyone. Not this bit, which is fine. The next bit. Although I wasted a lot of time there. It helped! Stop hibbity hopping. Yeah, bastard. That's why I keep dying. Apparently when you spin, you can't come out of a spin with a double jump. Why? That makes no fucking sense. 
That's just stupid. Yeah, really, honestly. What? <laughs> I'm just trying to keep the clock on the screen. Not that it's going to make any difference at all, but still. Might as well do it once, just to see. This also allows the timer to run for a bit. Always expect the hibbity hops. Right, so here, you're gonna survive past these guys. Then, here, just tank it. And now I hope you don't get hit for the rest of the level. That'll save a few seconds, I'm sure. My only scarediness is that frogs are going to appear out of fucking nowhere and try and kill me. And I don't remember where the end is. There it is. 132.5. Is that any good? Fine. Let's beat Cortex again. Cortex, this version of you isn't that hard. King Cable would laugh at you. Secret boss. Damn it. I don't know how I'm supposed to get past it. The nitro wall, I mean. Am I supposed to tank it? Maybe? Sweep under the leg. Sweep under the leg. Hooyah! No! It wasn't even Cortex that killed me, it was a goddamn metal octopus. Fuck! I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. I think that hit is purely so I lose it. Force damage? Doesn't look good on you, game. If 
only going to be able to do it in 22 lives. And by the looks of it, the level isn't that long. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do, but then how do I get past it? You can fuck right off. One little jump in the best way possible is a piece of shit and I really hate it. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to tank the hit. Now I don't know how else you would do it. Unless it's not real Nitro, but it definitely is. I like this monster design though, it's cool. Whoa. Probably because it's uh, made up of different things I already like. Can't do that jump, you'll die, and you'll feel like an idiot. Yeah, I've got a second mask, now I can do what I like. I'm gonna do all the things that I'm gonna do. Still gonna try and make it through here without dying though. See? Easy peasy. I don't see a life bar though, so maybe they don't have life. Maybe I just need to get to the end and kill it like alien. Throw it out of the air vent. Or the airlock. <laughs> I knew it. I knew the last one would get me. So it kind of has rubber banding on me because it goes really fast when it's not near me. But then it slows down again when it gets near me. Or it doesn't slow down, it just goes at normal speed. Right now the pity mask hasn't helped me at all. <laughs> Super! You got out of the crystals with those enough power in these was was first Cortex's dirty work. Oh my god! <laughs> the end. And there you are. I'm done. So, see you guys next time when we play not a crash game at all because this is the end of the third crash game or well, actually the sixth crash game we'll play one game which is Bayonetta and then we'll play a JRPG of some kind and then we'll be back with the next three Crash Bandicoot games which is probably Nitro Kart Entranced first Entranced comes first then Nitro Kart, and then maybe, I don't know, I actually don't know any of the others after this, like Twin Sanity or Mind Over Mutant or something, maybe? That could be it.
Okay, and now it's done that, I can go, because once it loops around again, I'm quite happy. I just wait for the Shinnan logo to come back round again. So I know that everyone who made the game has at least had their name shown at once. That seems fair to me. As for whether I like the game or not, it's certainly not my favourite. There are a lot of design decisions that are a bit weird to me. Uh, but I feel like that after, ever since Crash 3 there have been design decisions that I didn't really like too much. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. We got 101%. That's all I care about. Save over that file just in case. Okay. See ya. See you guys next time. When we continue onwards with a new game. See you guys then. Bye!